Hey everyone, uh, what we've got in front of me here is the Intel DC3217IYE, the next unit of computing, or NUC as it's uh, alternatively known. And there is the NUC itself. Uh, if you've subscribed to my channel, you'll have probably seen I've done an unboxing video of the device, so if you're interested in that, uh, take a look at my channel and you'll see a more um, in-depth look and the insides of the NUC itself as we uh, open it up. Uh, the main thing I want to show off in this video is the fact that it runs the Ivy Bridge HD4000 GPU. And that supports HD bit streaming uh, of high definition audio, and also HD um, broadcast or HD video playback as well. So what I'm going to do is, is I've installed OpenELEC XBMC um, uh, version 3.01 for Intel devices uh, on this particular NUC, and uh, it's based on Frodo version 12.1 of XBMC. And I'm going to boot that up, and we're going to try and run some samples and see what we get uh, from HD video and HD audio. So it's plugged into my amp, which is a bit loud at the moment because of the fan, uh, but you can see there there's DTS, Neo 6, nothing else really on there. I'm going to turn on the nook, which is like that, and we'll just get the BIOS screen quickly fly past. So here's open the leg. I'm running the Aeon Nox uh, skin, Aeon Nox 4, so as you probably know, it's one of the more intensive skins for XPMC. Uh, but if I can find my controller, which we've got here, which is a nice little, nice little uh, Re Mini 8 device, which does everything I needed to do, uh, I can control this around. Oops, I don't want to use the mouse on it. Exit out of that. There we go. Ah, go back. Hit the mouse by mistake. Okay, so I'm going to music. I'm going to pictures. Whatever. You can see it runs pretty fast. No major issues. Uh, we're going to go into videos. You've probably seen other videos. I have a select amount of samples that I run. Oops, I don't want to go into add-ons either. Go back. Um, I've got some samples that I tend to run um, for high definition audio. So I'm going to files. So you can get them from demolandia.net. Uh, we'll do Dolby True HD. So 7.1 The Spheres demo. And I can start that in a second, but again, what I'll do is I'll point at the amp, I'll start the the demo, and you can see it change as I play this. Okay, so Dolby True HD playback, no problem. 1080p video, no problem at all. So we're going to go into uh, DTS now and try some master audio. So 7.1 master audio file. So again, I'll show you the amp whilst I play this. And you can see it's just saying DTS at the moment. I'll hit the file. TTS Master Audio HD playback. Again, no problem from the little nook running open elec. So there you go, uh, HD 4000, small little device, no problem with high definition video and audio on this particular amp. I have had an issue with the newer version of the uh, the Onkyo amp, um, uh, which I'm, I'll, I'll tell you what, I'll take a video of this, I'll bring the nook and, uh, and connect it up to it, and we'll have a look at that now, and I'll show you what kind of problem I'm having. Okay, so for now, just uh, if you can bear with me for one second. Okay, so here you can see I've got the NUC now set up uh, and connected up to the newer version of this uh, particular Onkyo model of amps. Um, and this is, you can see it's connected at the moment, it's the HTX22HDX. So the one upstairs is obviously the HTX22HD. And the HD obviously works. Uh, what we're going to try and do is with the HD. Uh, was it the 22 HDX? I'm going to try the same with the NUC uh, and run the same programs, the same um, video files. So I've taken the same HDMI cable that was connected in, so it's not going to be a HDMI issue, a cable issue. Uh, let's just go across now to files, 
Melandia, Dolby, and Spears. And there you go, no sound. So, this is an issue that's, uh, it's not Intel that's the problem, it's not the driver for Intel that's the problem, because I've had the exact same problem on um, the NVIDIA ION, exactly the same thing. For some reason the HD audio will not recognize with this amplifier, even though this amplifier does do HD audio, uh, because on the ION um, version 2.99.2 of the release candidate version of OpenELEC um, does work with HD audio, so go figure. So there's obviously something that's been changed in the new audio engine um, that's uh, causing these kind of issues. So similarly, if I go and try, let's see if I can try DTS HD Master Audio, I won't get anything on the screen, or uh, on the amp, so nothing coming through on the amp itself yet. As you can see, it's playing the video file uh, correctly. Uh, I can go and change it and just say I want to play a standard DTS file and that will work. So there you go, you can hear it now. Uh, in fact, that's Dolby Digital. Uh, see there, Dolby Digital is working. So why is that encoded in Dolby Digital is a bit strange, but let's try this one for DTS. <laughs> Dolby Digital, okay. Uh, how about that one? Is that in DTS? Yes, it is. DTS 5.1. So there you go, DTS 5.1 is working. As you can see on the amp, it's switched to DTS as well. Okay, so that, that just demonstrates that there is still issues with open alike, um, but it's in no way, shape, or form the problem with a Nook. And that works perfectly fine on my other amp um, with HD audio bit streaming. Um, so hopefully uh, they'll fix that with some updates to the software in the next couple of weeks or so. Um, if you like the video, um, please rate and subscribe. And thank you for watching. Bye bye.